welcome everyone in previous video as you can see in here we created some patterns by using some string functions only but in this video we will see how to create the same patterns in the form of arrays let's just run the program so as you can see in here these are this is the right triangle this is the left and in the form of uh, string arrays and this is the crystal basically and this is the pyramid and crystal so let's just get started by opening a new vi let's just close the previous ones open that front panel as well as block diagram so let's just get started by placing a for loop again we will use the same method but there will be a different slightly by using input array function and we have a star in here twinkle twinkle little star replace with the shift register and connect that in here and create a constant so now if i just give it a constant of 10 and the next thing is insert into an array function basically so give that input to the new element and here it will give it a constant in here and create an indicator and connect that with the input so to give it a reference um, let's just run the program and let's see what is our output so this is giving me basically the right triangle as you saw on the screen first and now what i want is i want to invert that input basically so in arrays it is very very simple we can use reverse one d array function so just connect that in here and create an indicator so this is our reverse array so let's just run it and drag it down so as you can see this is our inverted right triangle but now what i want is again i want to create uh, the left ended right triangle so for that purpose as we have done in our previous video i will use a for loop again multiply with that with the inputs let's just say multiply that 10 oh by the way if you want to control the number of lines then you will just change this number you can create a control instead of 10 so multiply that with 2 and just make a copy of it by pressing control and dragging it down in here and uh, multiply that in here and use a subtract function so connect that with this input and now again i'm gonna use a concatenate string function replace that with the shift register oops here i'm gonna create an empty string oh sorry a space constant and here we're gonna create a constant simply concatenate these two inputs first this one and then this one and now again use an insert array function insert into array so this will be our new element and this will be our index function which we can get from this iteration terminal so i'll just connect that i don't know from where the wire will go but it will eventually connect it in here create an indicator 
and give it a reference by creating the what we call that we call that a feedback node so this is our output array and if I run my program as you can see in here this is our left side triangle and what if I want to create its inverted form again very simple we can use reverse 1d array so just connect it in here and create an indicator and here we have it its inverted form basically so as you can see this is our inverted triangle as you can see there are some spaces that are generated but these can be removed by doing this this is a little magic of lab view right and similarly just give it one and all will be connected to right side so that's how basically the arrays are generated now we want to basically do the build array function but we will make a little bit difference like by connecting that in here and connecting this output i think so or i think that this output connect that and use concatenate inputs create an indicator and just run the program so oops this is giving me the wrong concatenation so i will connect that control plus p this is our reverse array so connect that with this one and now this will give me basically uh, the right side of a crystal <clears throat> now we can play with that or we can do is we can if I just give this little star justification of center our crystal is generated so what if I want to create a pyramid in in this uh, to create a pyramid what we need to do is like in the similar way we can connect these two as well by creating again a build array function and you can do just more practice by uh, going with that array but that will give me a 2d array but we are gonna do by concatenate inputs so that this will give me create an indicator of 1d array and this will just give me the left side oops 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 so this is giving me like a wing function that is a wing of plane so that's how we can create this function as well so now if you are thinking how to convert these in the form of string then what we can do is we can use a function in here named as array to spreadsheet Mm, yes I think so so here is a function basically so if we have this array right now we can connect that with in here 
and give it a format of um, percentage s and create an end of line constant as our delimiter and create an indicator which will become in the form of string basically so if i just drag it down in here and run the program as you can see this will give me the output of this array basically again we can do the same thing with it we can just if i just place that in here now if i just center it that will bring me a nice looking crystal so that's how we print star function using some arrays